Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode number 24 of Fool Craft. Things look a, a, a wee bit different. Why? Because I've installed some Optifine and we've updated to version 1.3.3. Just some little tiddly winks to spice things up just a bit. I love me some Optifine. This fog, I miss it. You know, I play on snapshot versions on Hermitcraft and I'm building with B00. So I don't get to use Optifine very often. And boy, when I do, do I just love it. Shoosh, is fantastic. I'm behind a gate. Listen, this is truly glorious. I... Uh, I have decluttered, and I've talked about this in videos in the past, the importance of decluttering your life, and I have decluttered this life, and for the most part, okay, don't judge me just yet, but I got all this garbage out of here, and it feels quite magnificent, let me just say. That's awfully loud in my head, but I guess it's not, I guess my volume's just cranked. But anyway, oh, I've done, I, I've just done it. Oh, I cleaned up everything. All these chests that were here, all this garbly gook, gone. It's gone. We don't got to worry about it anymore. Y'all aren't triggered anymore, right? Now, yeah, I'm sure I'll make you upset somehow. But even still, happy days are here again. Let's clear this out. This has always kind of bugged me. I need to do lattice work under here. What's all that jarble down there? Well, more work has been exposed. It's official. You, sir, will not survive this. You're a goner. Yeah, but we're going to just bring this down. This is awfully nice right here. And then we'll just give this. You know you got vein miner? Well, I ain't vein mining this. You think I want a big, huge hole to have to fill in? Absolutely not. No, I just want to just do a little thing here. Just fill this and turn this to grayus. Very fine. So I got to lattice that up, which is easy. A cakewalk, as, you, as it were. But let's just put this away. Oh, my stuff got all reconglobbered. And that's very fine. I don't mind. Everything can get swung around. It's okay by me. I only need one workbench. Thank you very much. So... What's the game plan today? The first game plan was get all this kind of straightened out, and surely I did in about freaking time. What's left on the agenda as far as the cleanup? Well, the cow farm, which is our main source of food, which is really frustrating. I, I need to do one of two things. I neither need new armor or I need a really good food system that doesn't require me to have a bunch of cows in this nasty looking thing sitting out. This armor makes me, every time I log in, it says, oh, you only have 10 hearts, and then it fills all these gold ones up, and it sucks all my food down. So I gotta eat a bunch of food. It's a nightmare. But that's okay. It's okay. You know what I can do too? I can get these out of here. As a matter of fact, I might just trash them. They might just go by the wayside. Trash them, B-dubs. You don't need them. Sure, I will. I'll do it. They're gone. Easy. Fantastic. Come here, Torch. Thank you. Clean up the little flower farm, maybe. You know, it's not too nasty. Clean this up a little bit. Uh, get that cactus temp thing out of there. This is kind of okay. Hidden on the backside a little bit. Ain't no big deal. And terrain wise, we're in good shape. We looking good. Oh, it feels nice? Question mark. Answer is yes. It feels real nice. The more I terrain this, the more I get... I got to do more work. I got to do this. But this is not what we're doing today. This was my off-camera goal, and I, for the most part, completed it to a point to where beat up feeling real good and ready to get started on something fancy. Okay? Let's go into this city of maybe where I believe our good friend Scar is chilling. 
He's working on some stuff, but we're going to head on into there and we're going to work on something a little bit different today. Now, I don't know why I do this to myself. Ooh, we had a little bit of a skip there. I don't know why I do this to myself, but I continue to. What's skipping still? Hello? Relax. Oh, you know what? <gasps> Optifine fixes the tunnel. Optifine fixes it. Oh, very, very gracious. Yeah. Oh, good. You know how the tunnel wasn't rendering right here? So some people can see it if they use Optifine. Oh, and in the fog, it looks even more real. I'm sold. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to be fiddling around here. We've talked for a couple episodes about doing some stuff. Well, looks like I've just woken up my daughter with all my loud noises. This is faint, very fancy. Oh, I like this. Is this stress? I bet you it is. I bet you this is stress. Or Iskel? No, I think Iskel's here. He's got his pub going. But anyway, that's cute and fancy. Look at these street. Oh, Scar. Oh, Scar. Oh, have you done it? So now we've got to do some things. What's this? Fire hydrant? No. Oh, that's part of the street sign. Oh, cool. We're going to go through and we're going to create a... Uh, the goal, okay? This might be a little bit optimistic, but the goal is to create a bunch of pieces for people to use throughout the city, or for us, for that matter, uh, and me, and Scar, to create, look at how crazy he went with this, uh, to use throughout the city to help make it feel lived in. Right now, obviously the structures aren't built, so it feels a little bit empty. It feels a little lifeless, but something I've learned from the game of Minecraft, the more detail you add, the more... False, this, this doesn't work. These are fake ladders. Cheat, cheat artist, this is cheating. You cheated, but these work fine. Very fine. Um, but yeah, this will add such life to the, to the world. And we have some reference images to go off of. Maybe we look at those together? Possibly. Um... But we could also go off of this as well. So this somebody put this together, and not somebody on the server, a viewer put this together as kind of a thing that we could use t for shops within the city. Theater, projector, journalist, author, librarian. Uh, these are professions, you know, entertainment professions. Uh, weapons, gunsmith, Fletcher, weaponsmith, weapon curator. Holy Moses. And it tells the mods potentially as well. Let's see. Let's go to the start. Yeah, mod. Bobbles, block armor. So a tailor, seamstress, a cobbler, cord whiner. <laughs> a mill milliner, hatter. Jeez, armorist. So there's all these different things. Um, you know, I mean, we could... I don't want to do stuff for interiors here. That's not the goal. I don't want to make things for interiors, but I want to make things that we so we can kind of get inspiration from some of these ideas that'll give us an idea of, like, this is what our city is going to have in it. We could potentially have a jeweler, an artisan, a cult... I don't know what these freaking things are. Are you kidding me? General Toothsmith? Toolsmith. <laughs> a toothsmith. That's what they used to call dentists back in the day. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the toothsmiths. Got a cavity, have you? May I sleep? But anyway, maybe, uh, maybe we look over some of these reference images together and see if we can find some wise ideas. 
Okay, so this is the next morning, the next day, because B-Dubs did this once before, and the audio went crazy, but I spent the entire night working on it, and I think I've got my audio problems fixed. It's a good day so far, hopefully. Uh, but anyway, we've got a bunch of reference images here. These are a lot of reference images that Scar has put together for the group. Um, some of them... You know, some of them relevant within our timeline, some of them a little beyond, but still uh, able to get reference pieces from it. So let's start out with this image here, with this guy reading the newspaper. It says Nazi army. So what was that? The 40s then, maybe? 40s, 50s, World War era? We've got a car here, not super relevant to what we've got going on. The thing that stands out about this one is something we're not really going to be able to do is all of these signs here uh, down the road. That's something that it's going to be kind of commute like that. That's not communal. That's personal for people's shops. They're going to have to put like Suzuma's got a sign out on his. He kind of just hope that people will litter their things with signs and stuff. But if we look at the streets, we see this Scar's got this going on. Uh, but this, and he's made some trash cans. There's a little trash can over here, which is cool. Uh, little debris and broken up areas. There's nothing super interesting there. But this is, I'm guessing this is like a subway entrance thing. Which, there, I don't know if there's been any talk of a subway under the city. But this is kind of cool. Even if we use this as like an access down to a lower area, this could be kind of nice. So, from this image, that's kind of what I take. Um, you know, you, you see arch the tar architecture and all that stuff. But the big thing is this, I'd say, from this image. Pretty cool. Let's move on to the next one and see what we got. Uh, this is kind of, you see the architecture here. I don't, this is more so our era, maybe 20s. Uh, you see a lot of horse and buggy stuff and then some trolleys. So I think this is right in our timeline. The roads almost look like dirt roads to me, uh, which is a little different than our timeline so it's a floating scale it's minecraft it's fantasy you know uh, but there is a little bit of a sign over here an advertising sign and if we zoom in really close there's something right here this is the guy that's catching my interest right here this is a little mailbox thing you know you know how you, the post office will have these little mail drop-off things that you can use? Uh, making one of those could be kind of cool. I like that. I like that a lot. So that could be very useful for us. Not a whole lot else. I mean, there's light poles and stuff here, uh, which are cool. But there's a lot of stuff that Scar's kind of already working on. This is a little back alley with some ruffian kids. Trash can. Scar's got that made. But then look at this. little bucket. Right? Uh, little, this is like, um, this might be going down to like a well or something, possibly. I don't know. So that's fairly interesting from this image. The rest, I mean, just the alley itself, we need to have these. We need to have these kind of back alleys with just kind of messed up looking areas. I think that's pretty cool. This one I like a lot. So, you know, we got these buildings, and a lot of these buildings, they're large. They're big, large buildings like this one, but then there's separate buildings within it. So, is it this one? No, it's this one here. Barbershop. Just a small little barbershop. It spans from here to here. Let's change to white. To here is small, but very, very cool. This barber pole thing is really cool. I'd love to make me one of those. But maybe there's somebody already planning a barber shop. Now, there's an air conditioning unit here. Not so relevant for our situation, I think. I think this is a little too ahead of the times. Also, the number, the house number is kind of cool as well. But I think Scar's got House numbers worked out too. We're just basically looking for things. We're, we're in like a niche area right now where it's stuff to help the community that Scar hasn't done that's not going to Im impose on other people's builds. Um, this is interesting. It's a, this looks like this from a movie or something. Uh, but this is kind of a dirt road. And 
people are selling stuff on carts. You've got these carts here with tons of, you know, there's a bunch of vegetables and barrels here. There's pastries on this. Uh, possibly we could work out some carts. Possibly, we'll see. There's these little light posts here as well. In this image, kind of cool. I'm going kind of fast through these because I've already gone through them a little bit myself to see what I like. Now, this is from a, a rural area. Rural. Not so relevant. But the thing I love is these here trees. I love these trees. I don't think that these are going to be great for like our main street. But... For a side street, yes. You go in big cities, Chicago, New York, some side streets pretty them up with the, uh, with the trees like this. And these trees are actually great references for us. Whether we use them within the city or not, because you look at this shape. You have a trunk and then a Y shape here and then another Y shape branching off of that and then just tons of branches out from there. So in Minecraft, you could imagine this would just be the leaf area up here. This one got like three. It wise off here, but then it almost looks like it's got three of them. Pretty cool. I like that. So we could potentially use these down a side road or something like that. Don't think it'd be good to put it right on the main street because it's going to take away from the bustle and city feel, I think. This car, I know it's screaming, build me. Uh, but that's a difficult project. That would probably be for a single episode in and of itself. Let's move on, though. This flag. Fantastic. Right? Love this flag. Um, you just pop it on the side of a, of a building. Probably would take a couple of different chisel and bit block sections. But I really, really like it. I think that's a cool way to add some detail. And then these little bucket guys are pretty nice as well. Just a couple barrels. These look like barrels that have been cut with some foliage out the top, which we might be able to work out. The text on the front, people could potentially add that themselves if they wanted, but I think that's a pretty cool little thing. Now, moving on over to here. This one I like very, very much. Look at this. Now, you see, okay, proper timeline that's good horse buggy here's a little tourist bus looks like looking down the street you see some things it's hard to really tell what's on the roads it's so busy but the thing that's really standing out to b-dubs is this i love this this is super cool i think this is like a street sign i'm not positive but this little bit of detail is really really neat i think we could pull this in but if you if you look at this and then you come down what's it sitting on it's sitting on this wall down here you see this wall with this little thing coming across this is interesting because uh, adding a wall like this in certain parts of the city just a nice way to add some detail in and then you, so we could make a wall piece and then we could make a corner piece. We could make this top corner piece thing. And then we could also make this. Super cool decoration that people could just copy and use. And use it wherever they like. You know, in any way they like. Could be very nice. Over here, I love this. This little magazine stand thing. I think we could do this. I think we could pop this in the side of certain buildings. Um, these are just, you know, little things like this in the barber shop that will add to the atmosphere, I believe. But you look at the street, it's fairly decluttered. There's like not a lot of stuff on the street. That's like a bag type thing there. Little sign. But that's, you know, hard, hard to really cre create and craft. Here's another example of like... Look at the street. A fire hydrant. Everything else pretty plain. And, or if there is any busyness, it's up on the buildings. Um, so nothing to really take from this one other than some plain streets is okay to leave it. You don't have to cover every instance. Uh, this this little guy is cool right here. I like this. I don't know exactly what it is. There's a little thing next here. for like, Maybe this is like a crosswalk. It looks like a crosswalk. There's a little dotted line right there. 
So maybe this is like a sign letting people know it's crossing area, possibly. But the big thing that I take from this is look at all of this. Look at all of these billboards. So the billboards itself, camel, smokes, planters, peanuts, right? Coca-Cola, your own product, you'd have to make your own sign. But the scaffolding and stuff that it sits on, we could potentially make that for people to use. Also, look at these lights here. Aren't these cool? I like these lights very, very much. Just a bunch of them right next to each other. Cool look to shine down on on a, a sign. So I think we're going to make the foundation of a billboard for people. And then they can create their own sign on top of it. Fairly easy, I'd hope. But that's it. I think that's it. We went through all these images. There's a lot of other images too. Whoops. No, don't close it. Oh. Whoops, I did close it. Uh, but let's get in game. Let's see if we can make some of this stuff. So seeing as I already did some recording last night and the mic was all on a freak out job, uh, I already built a little piece and it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I was a little bit on tilt and it's tough to be super creative when you're on tilt because of the microphone, but I think it's pretty cool. So this is kind of my layout area. I've got some blocks with some definite lines. You can see where this block ends and this block starts, and it's just helping me kind of keep everything within a one block area or to know, okay, if I go up here, if I break into this area, I'm gonna need another positive chisel design to, so it's gonna be a two, to design part it's gonna have a top and a bottom you know which actually let's take this piece over here so this is dried brick and then the flat uh the flat blocks like the brown black and gray flat blocks and this is kind of creating that wall that we saw um but i noticed this last night and last night i was hope i was wanting to kind of stick with it but today I'm not so sure. This is for sure, though, that it looks cool, right? This is this would be great for if we had a park. Like, if this little back area here was like a park, this would be great lining for it. Or people could even use this in their builds at some point. On the interiors, maybe this would be handy as like a little railing on the side. But the thing that is for sure about it is... It feels too low. I try. I, I did what I could to keep it all within one block, uh, but keeping it within one block is too low. We need to have it up here, and this part needs to be on top. It's just that's how it's got to go. And in all honesty, this would work out as a great corner piece. Funny enough, I mean, it doesn't really match 100%, but it's kind of a cool corner corner post for it or a terminating point. Um, so. Yeah, I guess I'll probably redesign this to be a two-part thing. Um, we'll see. But anyway, hiya, hiya, who? Oh, and I, you know what? Funny enough, oh, I was looking at them backwards. Uh, let's look at them the right way at least. Yeah, that was the backside. Even last night in the recording that I scrapped, that was the backside. Oh, even more interesting. Very fine. There's more detail on this side, of course. Um, but this could certainly benefit from having like a, a bunch of hedge, hedge bushes and stuff like that. But anyway, and not close enough. Uh, yeah, I'll probably edit and change that. But I, I want to get on to some other things. You see some, some of the influences like in that last image. Uh, Scar has done a, a fantastic job of kind of implementing some of those ideas into here. Also, I am well aware, I saw today he uploaded a video where he's doing a uh, chisels and bits shop. Check it out on his channel. Very, very cool. Um, so he's going to be doing this. Wait, he didn't chisel and bits that. No, that's deco craft. Wait, what? This is chisel and bits, right? Yeah, that's chisels and bits. That is too. That's cool. That's cool. Nice floor and everything. Looks like he's got quite a bit of deco craft stuff in here for being a chisel and bit shop, doesn't it? 
Anyway, B Dub's gonna go back to work. I'm gonna find some other things that we, you know, I just went through all those images. I forgot, already forgot everything that I was uh, that I looked at. So I gotta refer back to that. Okay, before we take on our next thing, I want to kind of add something to the street here. I, you know that? Remember that crosswalk thing that we had? Or that we saw in that one image? I'd like to have a crosswalk. Now, obviously, right here is an obvious place for it. But I'm thinking we do one kind of in the middle as well. Because the scar's kind of working out some things here. Um, but I'm thinking a crosswalk like here could be cool. Just to keep the busyness going. So... Hmm... There's an alley there. You know what? I mean, if we did it like... Yeah, let's do it here. Let's do it here. So if we go... If we go here, and we... It was kind of a dotted line. There's lots of different types of crosswalks. Let's put it on replace. It is on replace. Very good. No, it... Why didn't it... Okay, it switched! What in heavens? Okay, let's go here. Okay, what's that size? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. We'll give it like one, two, three, and then seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Question mark? Yeah, feels good, man. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of counting. I'm just going to guess that that's seven. We don't have to make them exact at this point. You know what would be easier? If we just came through and did it all. <laughs> One, two, three. And just brought it all the way over to here. How far can I bring it? Ooh. You know what? No, we're not going to do that because I don't want to wreck that crack in the ground. Boom. Go through there. Um, we will go through here just a little bit. Is that going to screw this up? Let's see if it does. Be very careful. Havens! Yep, we don't want to do that. Okay, let me... Uh, but we're going to work out this crosswalk here first. Just for looks. To see what it's going to look like. And yeah, that's nice. I'll be back with you just very shortly. Very shortly. Just take me a moment. Okay, so got the crosswalk done, and I kind of beat it up a little bit. You know, these lines aren't always perfect. A lot of times, unless they're just laid, they're not perfect. So I broke them up a little bit. It's pretty good. I mean, for a Minecraft player size, I think that's wide enough for just a, just a mini crosswalk. We can even have a post here that's going to have a thing. But basically, we want to make something that we put right about here in the street. Yeah. And we might even overlap this a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. But we're not going to make it here. We're going to make it over at our little template area. I'm thinking two blocks high for this one for sure. Oh, I kind of worked this out to a full block height, by the way. Feels good, man. Feels good. I like this much better. Uh, and the way it's going to work is I've laid it out to where here's the piece. Here's the bottom piece. Here's the top piece. And I'll probably have... Uh, chisels and bits bags ready for people. So I'll have a bag in here or a couple bags with the essential pieces there uh, so that people don't have to collect them or anything. They can just take the bag, put the things down, and then they're good. So anyway, let's get to work on this. There's a couple things that I want to try. First of all, it's a kind of a circle. So we have to work out a circle shape. Let's get it on the or off the replace. We'll go with this uh, we'll see the blocks here, brown and gray. I think that'll be good. So we're on add, very good. And we'll do a circle. We have to remember like our Minecraft circles here. And we want it to be as centered as possible. But this is odd. This is odd numbers, so, but that's okay. We'll go one, two, three, one, two, boom, one, two, three, like this. Just like we were building a tower somewhere. I think we're so far so good here. No, not there. Boom. I'm realizing that a lot of this is not fantastic for video, but that's good. That's good. And we'll build this up a little bit. So the thing that's going to be interesting about this is it's going to have to be, 
it's going to have to be kind of cone shaped. So we're going to have to make a little cone out of this thing, which is fine. But that'll be the base. And then we'll build it up from there. So, and the, the structure I'm thinking will be this block. Very fine. Very fine indeed. There you are, little guy. Cool. Hey, <laughs> fill in my water. Uh, so let's then, hmm, do we come in here? Maybe we come in. And I have to kind of refer back to my, whoops, no, not there. I have to refer back to my kind of, uh, you know how you build domes on castles? I'm kind of referring back to that right now, trying to think of how this cone-shaped dome thing is going to look and how it's going to be. But I think we can come up with something pretty good. So it's like an off-white, and I like that. I think that's a good color and it's even got its own little texture inside of it so we don't have to really bother with it too much and then this we're going to implement some of this gray just to add some texture here we want we don't want it to look all brown we want it to have a little bit of texture a little bit of you know variance and, and noise is what you'd call it um so yeah that'll help but now i have to kind of build this guy up a little bit so I'll do that and I'll be back with you. All right, we've got our cone base completed, I think. I like it, I like it, the shape's okay. Might add a few pieces here and there. Uh, I'm even seeing some spots that could probably benefit from it. Why is my, oh, that's why. Uh, let's turn it to this and we could put some pieces here, here, here. It'll just help the transition and the flow just a little bit better. Even here could be good. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Huh. Careful, careful, shift, and blame. Very good. So that's a little cone thing. I like it. There's a lot of shadows that are kind of making it look weird, but that's okay. So this image was in black and white, and you just have to assume what the colors were. Now, to make it stand out, we're going to use some red. There's a little pole that came up that was red and white, in my imagination anyway. So I've got some red dye. Let's take a look at some of our red options. I don't want to go super saturated. I want to go a little bit desaturated, actually. That's kind of desaturated. That's a little towards the pink. That's kind of desaturated. Um, we don't want to go this dull. I'm kind of liking this guy. I think I like that guy the most. Yeah, now that I have it in my hand, I'm 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 liking it. I'm liking it. Uh yeah. Let's go for it. Okay. Get some of that red and we'll just build up a little post and it's I mean to to conserve on resources, I guess we'll go Yeah, we're on place. Good. We'll bring it to here and we'll bring it to like Oh man, I kind of want to go a little higher. You know what? It's not red enough. It doesn't... Maybe maybe it is red enough. I'm not sure. Ah, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Let's get the white in there. I have a white one here. Where's my white one? There you are, buddy. Okay. And we'll put this one on top. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll go one, two, three, four, five. Good. You know what, actually? We're going to have to do this lower because we got to leave room for the sign as well. There's going to be a sign, and I'd ideally like to start that like th here, like start it right now. So we'll get the red in here. You know what, that's actually, that red is not bad. I, I guess I'd like it a little bit more red, but that's not terrible. Uh, there's there's flowers over here, okay? So let's, let's grab these. And let's see if we can try a different red. And even mix in just a little different red just to get some texture. Um, so we'll turn this into dye. And then we will grab this. And so we got this one. Let's get one that's a little more saturated, like maybe him. Yeah. We'll give him a try. 
Yeah, we'll see what this looks like. It might be over the top, but we'll see what it looks like. Ooh. Okay, we're not overflowing quite yet. Ooh, that's very red. Eh. What do we like better? I think we like this one better. I like that one better. Yeah, it's more red. Um, and it's not too over the top, so I'm cool with that. All right, now comes the difficult part because we're going to put a little bit of a sign on here, and I think it's going to be a circle. I think we're just going to do a circle. On, on the image, it was like a little bit of an upside-down triangle and then a circle on top, but this is going to be difficult. This is going to take a lot of B-dubs thinking, so I'm going to get to work on that and hopefully come back with something pretty fancy and special. All right, so this is okay. This is all right. There's the top. And there's the bottom. Let's try to place this. We'll put them both on additive, I believe. And let's try to get it in place somewhere over here and see. We could do a couple of them, hopefully. Um, all right, so we want to get the bottom one. Hello? Okay, not additive. Placement. Okay, very cool, very cool, very cool. So we can squeeze that in there like so. Very good. Let's do it like there. All right. Very good. And then we'll put this one on placement as well. I'm frozen. I'm stuck. There we go. Boom. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. I like it. I like it. Boom. How many blocks away are we? It doesn't really matter. You don't want it perfect. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's a this is just a little piece, you know, but it's something that adds something to the street. And we don't even block the tunneler view. Now, you know, the sign could potentially change. I might change it. It might all change. Who knows? Uh, but as of right now, I think that's a nice little addition for crosswalk areas, you know. Uh, so we'll call that a winner. I like it. It's weird. It's different. It's not what you'd really expect to put in a city. It's I would never think of it. I know that for sure. That would never, ever be on my mind. Let's put it here and here. And we'll put the chests down to uh, put our designs in. Boom. And there's the bottom. We'll make another chest for the top. Put that in there. And those will be ready to roll. So I like it. I like it. The, the reason why we want to have the bits in there uh, is because they're so the, using these flat blocks. There's so many different variants of colors, as you saw with all the reds. So we want to have those available for people to use. But overall, I think we got a good thing going. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is the billboard scaffolding stuff. And I think the best way to do this is going to be... Ooh, this mouse feels very sensitive. Whoa! Okay, calm it down. Okay. Uh, I'm going to build it on like a four-block uh, four grid. I'm thinking that, I mean, something nice that we can do is just use this. We know that's going to be two blocks. We know that's going to be two blocks tall. Um, but we need to keep this as close to the front as possible because we want people to be able to, if they want to place blocks or whatever, place it right on the front where it attaches. You don't want to have that, you know, with signs, you know how signs don't attach to certain things? We want these to attach. So we're going to put it right on the front side. And then that should that should do the trick. Uh, how many did we come in there? Just one. Okay, cool. Flying and doing this is a little bit difficult. Yes, very fine. Very good. And boom, and boom. We're not going to do this all the, together. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of the idea. I think that I'm going to then come across here like this and this. So these will be kind of the bigger pieces, I think. And there will be some little happy accidents in here, I think. Like how this kind of overlap there, we take it. I think we like 
the way that overlaps. Um, and then this is where our block changes. So maybe we go here and here. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. We just don't want it to be too chunky. And it might be getting that way. But we'll see, I guess. One, two, and then one, and two. Yeah, that's okay. It's a pretty nice looking window, ain't it? <laughs> uh, but then now from here, I'll just work out some diagonals from here to here. Uh, maybe beef them up a little bit, but I think that should do the trick for us. Holy smokes, we are out of time. I had no idea how long this was running. It's been over a span of two days. But I think this is the first recording I've had where I haven't had like any real microphone trouble and had to do a bunch of troubleshooting in a long time. So this is nice. Anyway, we've worked this thing out and it's a little bit large. It's on a couple of levels. Let's go here, here, here. And here, no, 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 no. You don't do that, buddy. You don't do that. There we go. Okay, so we can see all of our pieces there. And this is the nice thing about this design is that it it's pretty modular, I think. Let's let's give it a shot and see. So this would be that corner. Oh, we got to put them all on placement, right? Right, right. Okay, that corner. That corner. And that corner. Very good, very good. Okay, and then boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to have a little bit of trouble with how it's... like. But that's not bad. That's good. I think that's good. I think that's good. I wanted to get them up here, and hopefully I have enough blocks for it to allow me to do it. Eh? Oh, the zombies are coming, man. The zombies are coming. Go to sleep before that little guy comes running for you. He always finds a way. Um, but I think this is good. I think this is good. Uh, let's look at it from a distance. Yeah, I like this. And there's a lot of uses for this. A lot of uses. Let's do one there, and we'll go up higher and see how that ends up looking. Yeah. Yeah. And we should probably label these for what they're initially intended to be used for, but the nice thing is people can kind of just swing by and say, yeah, I like that, I like that, I like that, I'm going to use this and this and this. Oh man, that I think we hit the nail on the head with that image that we had. I mean, if you have enough of these blocks and you put these gobblers up there on top of these buildings or just flat out on the side, like if you have a, a side of your building that's not very interesting, just pop some things on there like that. Like I might actually up here, because there's so many windows here, I might just go boom, straight across here and have these grids. That might be good. Let's try to use it practically. Yep, it attaches to the wall there, so ain't no problems, right? It could, I mean, goodness, it's a nice piece. It's a nice piece. It could be very, very useful. I like it a lot. Yeah, that could work perfect because it attaches to the wall. It doesn't attach here, but you could, you know, some of this stuff, if you intend to use it in a different way, uh, you, you're going to have to do a little bit of handmade jobs to make it work. But overall, I think we got something really, really nice here. This is good. Let's just put it in place. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. And now all I have to do is just get the materials together for the people to... But then I'll put the chest behind with the, desi the uh, designs. What are these? Positive chisel designs? Yeah. There's a lot more pieces that we said we we're going to make. The barrels with the bushes inside and some other things. But overall, I mean, this is a great start. Unfortunately, the episode's running long. But uh, by next time, hopefully we've got some nice stuff put together. I'd love to see these all over the place. All over the tops of buildings and stuff. I think that really set the city off very nicely. Uh, but anyway, 
Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Sorry my mic screwed up earlier and it made it made things take a little longer than they should have. But I'll see you guys in the next episode. Judas Priest Almighty, what is this? Oh yeah, I remember. They changed the scoreboard.